Hi guys, today we are diving into spontaneous human combustion. If you needed one more thing to be completely terrified of in your life, well, welcome. I'm Sarah and I'm sorry. Yeah, so it happened again. I am completely consumed by this weird phenomenon and I had to share it with you guys. So today we're talking about people who are just randomly explode into flames and die. Um, is it real? Is it not real? I don't know, but I'm terrified, right? So looking into this, there are many cases of this happening. Um, anywhere from an infant um, to, you know, 65, 67, 70, up, you know, all of that. So it doesn't have an age limit. Um, we don't really have a lot of information on it yet, um, but I'm going to give you the scoop. So basically it's this phenomenon where people just kind of burst into flames and people don't know why or what happened. Um, they're usually not by a fire um, and it just happens. Usually they find these people after the fact and then the firefighters go in or the investigation team goes in and they realize there was no reason for this fire. Um, and so they start investigating this as a human combustion. They also said that one of the characteristics of this is that there's a really foul odor. I don't know what to make of that. Kind of a crazy little part of this to me is that um, some of the cases it's just been one extremity. So like their arm will catch on fire or their leg will catch on fire without um, any explanation. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so the first knowing of this or um, publicized anything about this um, was in a Charles Dickinson's book um, back in the day, and he wrote about a person just bursting into flames. Since then, there's been um, many cases in history of this happening, but they're not really sure whether to call it um, spontaneous combustion or it's a cause of something else. Um, many people used to think back in the day it was because of alcohol consumption or it was because you were overweight um, and your body just catches on fire because of that. Um, like I said, we don't really know. Um, there was one case um, where a man burned alive and they believed that it was because of spontaneous human combustion and they did define it as that. Um, but some of these cases, they're like not sure whether it was another source or not. Um, there was a case where a woman, um, burst into flames, apparently. Um, she was in the kitchen, the flames started, and it actually killed her husband that was in the house as well. Um, because he didn't do well with the fumes. So there are cases that are defined as that, but do we know if this really happens? We're kind of unsure. Um, we don't know if it's like clothing rubbing together, if it's the human body's reaction to something, or if it's being lighted by something else. Um, like I said, police investigators come in afterwards, they look at the scene, and sometimes they can't find a reason why this fire started. That would be more of a case that we're looking at. Um, but there's been some cases that it's like, okay, they're sitting by a fire. Could something have happened? Absolutely. So is it real? I guess that leaves you to decide. Leave me some comments in the comment section on whether you think that this is real and are you scared of this happening? Because I have anxiety. <laughs> Everything around me scares me. Now I'm like, am I just gonna burst into flames one day? I don't think bursting into flames is how I would want to go. I, yeah, I don't think that's... No, 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 thank you. So, 
will you burst into flames one day? Just remember, death is all around us.